Hi there, Pioneer Field Agronomist Rodney Erdman, East Central Wisconsin. Standing out in a field of 0339 this afternoon, um, just wanted to talk a little bit about fungicide timing. Um, first thing you want to do is go out into your field and just take a look around and see what you have for disease pressure. As I walk out here um, looking at a lot of leaves, um, I don't see much pressure at all. Uh, this is actually in uh, full silk. You can see uh, very nice pollination taking place here. So basically what I like to do in situations like this where we don't really see a whole lot of pressure, no gray leaf, no northern corn, um, just wait. I like to wait until we actually start to see some brown silk. Um, just gives us a little bit more timing, gives us a little more time for the efficacy of the, of the fungicide. You can see some of this right here. Just a little bit of brown silk. I'd like to see at least 50, if not 75% brown silk before we start to spray our fungicide, at least this season with the lack of uh, any disease pressure. And uh, one kind of neat thing, I'm going to give a call out to Nate Lystra. I was with him yesterday. How do we determine whether or not our corn is fully pollinated yet? So I have an ear here that I actually took all the husk off of, and it's kind of neat. You just take it and give it a good shake, and whatever silk didn't fall off is actually the silk that has not pollinated a kernel yet. So if you look at this one, it's about, oh, I don't know, 5% or so that isn't pollinated yet. So it's kind of a neat little trick. Uh, while you're out in the field to tell whether or not your corn's been completely pollinated yet or not. So, talk to you again. Have a good day. That concludes this Pioneer Growing Point Agronomy video podcast. Visit our page on pioneer.com and follow us on Twitter and Facebook for more agronomy insights.